That's crazy. Right. So yeah, so the like Patreons basically over the last year or two have slowly been trying to, you know, go mainstream, and which means that all the people that are making the money who were doing like mature adult stuff are finding it hard because they keep change, they keep moving the bar, right? Um, and the you know the sand, they keep changing the line of the sand, and um, and slowly you're going to find that a lot more people are going to leave Patreon. And more professionals will go right. to Patreon. I'd be interested though, but it's like Patreon, it, you've used it. Yeah. But I mean, I, I've looked at it, but I mean, how many New Zealanders use it? How many New Zealanders have been successful with Patreon? Like, I, I don't know if it's a thing that it really is. Maybe we just need our own thing here because I, I don't see it as a New Zealand thing or something New Zealand is going to I know a few people can they do keep do, use it. But, but they, do they do well? The, is it something yeah. that is a success? Is Patreon like. Uh, a source of you know their lifestyle and funding their creativity. Mm -hmm. I I I have my doubts. I think some people do really well, and some people aren't. And I think I um, mean I found that like I mean I wasn't doing anything because um, one thing is you gotta you gotta have a name or you gotta have art. You gotta be able to do it every well, almost every I mean, it's other kind day. Of the scale. Yeah, and and you got it's like being on YouTube, right? You gotta be able to do every, at least two three videos a day. To keep in people's heads that you're here and content and I, when I was trying to start this up on YouTube I was like I can't really do this every day because I'm busy doing I am busy trying to run a comp um, you know run um plunge I'm busy trying to keep everybody uh, but it's patreon about aware. like funding your broadcast but I to my understanding yeah, it's, patreon is it's funding like monthly, an individual like you don't even have to do videos I know you have to do you can you can do um, music I know there's a um, um, there's a Indian um, metal band called B um, Bloody Wood. That's Bollywood with a, um, with blood in the start. You know Bloody Wood, and they do really well. You know they do covers of uh, American, uh, you know, popular um, music. So that's part of their service. To yeah, their and they do really well. So like they, uh... five thousand dollars a month. Well, but they yeah they have a special thing. They do the music. They do the CDs and all this stuff. But they also do it on YouTube, so it's a synergy. You've got to make sure you do it everywhere, right? But that's kind of like just creating your own brand and it's things, a, so it's just a different port of call. But yeah. I thought on Patreon, you could go, I'm studying to be an engineer. Will people get behind and support my engineering career? And maybe you can put up like projects you've worked on and share mm -hmm. information. But I thought that it was more that kind of angle of personal growth, or if you're an artist and people want more... to fund the sculpture, yeah, you know, that... to, to do your, your your sculptures for big galas and things, and you can go, I was, my patrons are, blah and blah and blah, mm. but it's, it's not that they need a direct result from you, is, yeah. is what I well, saw it as. The other thing is, like it's like, if you're doing a comic book right, and each week you put a page up on there, uh, and then you know, I'll put a panel. Yeah, up. so that's like a thank you. Like, yeah, we've, we've got one page down. Here you go. Like, yeah. you can check or, it out early. Or people can commission you to do something. I know. I know. Um, I've got a friend who actually uh, gets commissioned to do stuff. I mean, that's Patreon. the same as having a deviant art profile or having a website where someone goes, "I'm a real fan." Or we do commissions yeah. for you yeah. if you're if you're a fan. But you only really get the fans behind you. But that's the thing. See, on Patreon, you can do anything you want. And, and as long as you've got the, you know, this is my R18, this is, this is my thing, boom, it's fine. With Patreon, it's like, they don't, you know, even if you say it's R18, they don't care. So is it more similar to Kickstarter? So you, you, it's about a product? Yeah, it's about... yeah. But it's, it's unlike Kickstarter, which is a product, and that's the product, that's it. Patreon's more like... Uh, this is me. This is Give me. me money. I'm doing a weekly thing. I'm going to... Oh, I'll do reward-based things like um, you know I'll if you commission me to a piece of work. Cool, here it is digital or not, or um, or a actual physical copy, mm -hmm. or I'll put up something every day before for the, our patrons before we put it onto YouTube. Yeah, well, I mean that's just another point yeah. of call. Like so it's... you're talking about branding. So yeah. this is what really what works. That you have to brand yourself. But then if you're already established, why bother? And this is where we go back to um, Rob Rob Rappel. Rappel. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> if you if you're already established, you're well known. You got freaking toys of your characters. You got. And I don't. Work. You know. And I love like, Rob Life. All right. I'm not really anti this on this. But I'm. But the question here is, if you, if you're such a big 
person, why do I, you need yeah, to like, jump on to the little person's thing? I understand Kickstarter more. Like Brian Polito uses Kickstarter very well. He makes a lot of money, but he's producing a product and offering stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Patreon is interesting. I don't know how it fuels a fuels a fire for people. As I thought it was yeah. about kind of giving people the opportunity to be creative. So That's say it. that in the in rock band, maybe right. they don't have the opportunity to yes. practice and jam. Maybe they don't have the equipment. Right. It's nice to give someone the opportunity. But if you got the yep. opportunity and it's just selling mm. your product, then I yeah. Think what are you started. trying? To, yeah. What are you trying to say, right? If you if you if you like, it's like um, uh, let's see, uh, George Lucas suddenly goes, you know, I'm going to go into Patreon. Yeah, but like, what are you doing, George? Yeah, like you're already rich. You've already got a yeah. ranch. So like, if you're all, if you're all, and if you're already established, why do you need to go into somewhere where, where people are trying to get established? Mm. Right. That's interesting. And I think it's a, it's a, it's it's kind of like a, I mean, I was like, oh, you know, okay, join the club, right? Because. I, I, I thought yeah. about it and then I looked at it and I thought it just doesn't make sense. Sure, if you get a lot of backers and support, great, but they're taking their piece, you know, like when you're when you're in a very low scale. But here's no that's right. Sense. So this is it. So if you if you're just starting out to be a, be a creator, uh, you know, doing a page a week, whatever, and here comes someone who's a multimillionaire wants a stipend of that same freaking market. You know, same banking. Mm. You, you shouldn't even think about it, really. I mean, as it much as seems, I like Rob, it seems to be trivial. Yeah, why would you even think about? Hey, I'm going to go start a Patreon page, or hey, I'm going to start a YouTube page as Kel Simone did, right? It's like no, like after years of like like hurling uh, dirt and crap and rubbish at at uh, creators, independent creators being on YouTube and What's doing the thing. Being on YouTube. Sorry? What's wrong with the, them being on YouTube? Yeah, but this is because... Um, my thing is, hey, they were hurling dirt at people on YouTube. But now they were like going directly to their people and talking to yeah, them. Yeah, now Makes this is Gail Simone who's been like hurling all this dirt, decides to start up her own, um, like this month, start up her own um, YouTube page. What's she doing on there? Hey, I'm Gail Simone, I'm such and such. Exactly, what are you doing on there? Because you already have established <clears> thing. And this is what I mean. Like, if you already have your established niche market, why are you trying to spread yeah. yourself out to other people who are actually getting created on their niche markets? Yeah, I mean, but YouTube is an advertising platform. So, mm. I mean, you've got something new coming up where you're saying, yeah. I'm Aru, like, this is me, yeah. and I'm doing this. And why not? If someone's going to click if on it. If you're starting new coming YouTube. up, but if you're already established. But even trailers and things is advertising, it's promotion, yeah. and... I, I think I, I felt Patreon was different. Maybe we yeah. need a different space for that. Yeah, and I think um, this is this is what this is where Pixiv Pixiv P I X I V and N I G I E will come into effect. Because if you really think about it, if if you got people like Rob Liefeld and probably any more people, professional people who are making millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, decided to go a step into Patreon, right? which is for the little guy you're just gonna this this is why i think patreon's doing this is to push the you know the moment you know the big names come in patreon goes well we need to clean up our act but this is the these are the little guys who built you up yeah well maybe it's not that maybe sometimes in business when they grow to a certain level they get scrutinized at a different kind of rate yeah. you know you go under a lens all of a sudden you're like oh you're making a lot of money now yeah. like we better like check what you're doing oh you got something that's a bit questionable possibly yeah maybe we should it, it may not be related um yeah but i think certainly i can't see the benefit of the bigger guys yeah. being on there um but with the other platforms i mean it's about entertainment and getting your voice out yeah. so being on facebook talking to people like todd mcfarlane rob liefeld yeah. brian polito and many others it's yeah. a wonderful thing and when they're doing it freely when they're giving advice yeah giving gifts so now, to their fans, so now you're gonna go to patreon and get paid to do it it's like, like what telling their fans like insights and and kind things yeah. and responding to their fans yeah. that's a wonderful thing that creators do yeah but now, even though you're established and you're rich and you're all that, now you want to go to Patreon and make money off. I just don't see. Ta a it's basically taking money out of the ind independent <laughs> creators. <laughs> but why would people pay them? Yeah, I I don't think people will. Because what I'm, what else can you tell us that we don't already know about twenty years of your history? I think it's like it's like pissing in the wind. 
Like, it's, and I don't think it will go very far. I mean, yeah. maybe it's worth looking at, because you can look at these people, but I don't, I don't think he's going to get a million yeah. it's the same thing with, funding. Yeah, so why, why, why would... Because it makes no sense. It's the same thing with Gus Moon. Why would you want to go to YouTube, where you basically crapped on people who are on YouTube already for the, for the past decade, who have actually become established people who actually earn a living off it now, but now you, Gus Simone, basically now you're saying, oh, uh, you know what? I need to be on YouTube now because all those people who I've been crapping on were right. Well, <laughs> sometimes there could be management pressure there. Yeah. So they can go, hey, look, Jim Lee's been on social media and he's getting this good response yeah. and he's building a presence and he's done a lot for the business. Yeah. Gail, like, why why don't you like YouTube? And she'd yeah. go, I don't like being on camera. I don't want to do it. Oh, she, go, she loves social media. No, but then, yeah, yeah, but, you know, it could be that kind of angle. Yeah. Where, and they go, hey, look, you want to be in the business. You need to promote yourself a bit. Yeah. And I, I kind of get it. I mean, yes, yeah. let's stop it's, throwing I think it's rocks. a bit too, yeah, it's a bit too late in the game to start saying, now people should pay me. Because yeah. you already established. Like, it's it's like, uh, you know, it's well, like... I think people are paying, though. Yeah, but this is what's going to happen is uh, people think that this is going to be something new that they're going to give, but there's nothing new they're going to give yeah. because they've already got 20 years Patreons, of history. Patreons, like, you get a dollar a week or whatever. Yeah. You can do, like, little well, things like that, less perhaps. Yeah. And so I just don't see how that's going to be relative to Rob Liefeld. If he does get 10 supporters giving him a dollar each, Yeah. and then he's charging $100 for a signature at Comic Convention for having queues of people, isn't yeah. it? it's pointless. It is but pointless. Then, the people that would give him money, if you thought about why is he charging me a hundred dollars for a scribble yeah. or a speech bubble, like you know, it would make you not want to support them on Patreon. But you'd be like, he's making five hundred dollars for drawing yeah, a so simple speech bubble. Exactly. And this is this is the game. And like, and I think this is it's the same thing with you know the whole idea of Kickstarter getting unionized, right? So if they're getting unionized, that means that like there's certain things that you won't be able to publish now on Kickstarter because they'll say. Well, this is not what we want on Kickstarter. This is what happens. So there'll be censorship on Kickstarter. It's already happened on Kickstarter censorship. So sometimes, so when, when you see these things closing out, yeah. so say there's less opportunity for the edgy stuff on yeah. on Kickstarter and stuff. I mean, for the young entrepreneur, for someone thinking about it and going, "Oh, well, it's a shame they're missing out on a whole bunch of good stuff." Yeah, maybe that's opportunity to you know launch quick starter or quick starter x or yeah you know get away from this no but it's an opportunity so rather than being angry we, oh, yeah, we yeah, could fully, create so yeah. i mean if it did suddenly stifle the you know yeah. people's message and their creativity and the ability to make something that's a little bit edgy or a little yeah. bit too much which it could be a new platform you have a new opportunity yeah. for a new young person to which what is you know with table. deviantart they do like a like a um they do something with a coffee something like i can't remember what it is uh, but like, coffee? Uh, like you can give them like uh, cakes and stuff, cakes and stuff. If you want, oh yeah, um, I've had a pretzel before. Yeah, so me. you can actually give people money on um, DeviantArt. So I guess DeviantArt would have would become more like Patreon in the sense of how they uh, manage their. Um... Let me see if I've got it here. I don't know. DeviantArt's very. Um... It's very edgy and always has been. Yeah, and, but then, and sometimes the normal stuff kind of edges out the edginess, but it's yeah. always there. You just have to like dig like <laughs> like one little bit, mm. and you'll get a lot of kind of edgy um, adult ish material. Yeah. I mean, I've been on Kicks. I mean, on, I mean, I've just returned in two thousand eighteen to Kickstarter, but I've been on there since about two thousand twelve. If I remember, two thousand seven. Kickstarter or DeviantArt? Uh, DeviantArt. Sorry. So I think DeviantArt. If DeviantArt goes into the whole. Um, concept of what Patreon was doing, that you become a patron of an artist, right? Well, there's a lot of creativity on there. You see people's yeah. whole creative life So, on there, um, yeah, so people cool. would basically, I reckon the way to beat this whole Patreon thing is to get off Patreon and invite your, um, your patrons, right? People have supported you for years, we support you monthly, over to something like DeviantArt, all this new stuff that's happening with Pixiv and Naiji, right? Niji. So, yeah, I, I, I think this is this professionals coming on to like independent creators website is going to destroy the independent I and guess, take the money out of the little guy's pocket. Well, maybe it's competition. But, it's steep competition. Which means that you've got to be more creative on how you do things, right? Yeah, but I mean, when you look at it, I mean, it's just a, it's a forum. It's a, you know, yeah. So I mean, it's like anything. Like the strong survive, and you know, there's there's strong people who create stuff like. Walking Dead out of nowhere and you know run away yeah. and they you know and that's a big thing yeah and 
Yeah, they start now everybody with hates, humble beginnings. Yeah, now everybody hates zombies. It's I don't like, know, it's it's like, it's like it's, yeah, it's like it's uh, it's they it's hate so, the flu. <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's, 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 